Hello, I'm ABX Toycat, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm trying out a semi new format on my channel where I show you building ideas for Minecraft. But rather than showing you large building ideas, which are really cool because you need to have something to build towards, instead, I figured I'd show you smaller parts of bigger building ideas. So, for instance, staircases, which I was going to give this long motivational speech about, but let's just say they're simply staircases really important. They take you up and down from places, and pretty much any build that is multi level is going to need to have them. So, here is five different staircase designs in case having just cobblestone on top of, you know, weird stained clay to your huge mushroom is isn't good enough for you. Yeah, today I'm showing you five different building inspirations for the stairs in Minecraft. Hopefully you do all enjoy the video. If you do, please do like it and let me know because it helps out the channel a lot and lets me do like the kind of building centric videos. Anyway, yeah, let's get straight into it, shall we? With the first set of staircases and this one really is just kind of show you that staircases don't just need to be stairs with stairs or blocks and blocks. Instead, you can do some really bizarre things because of the way block heights work. So uh, in case you're curious as to why this works, basically here are three blocks right here. No blocks that look like they're a block hall, like this one uh, right here, have the same standard block height. So for instance, this block here is one and a half blocks tall, and this is only 15 16 of block tall if I'm not mistaken, but yet this one's a full block, which means that even though they look the same, here you can see we go massively up, and here we go a little bit down, which seems bizarre, but again, you can use it in your builds to make either one, this staircase here, which looks really uncomfortable and like you're going to have to jump from point to point like this, but truth be told, you can just walk up this thing straight directly, and even at this last bit here, you know, even in gaps, you can make it so people can sprint across those too, which is pretty cool, right? Jumping across gaps, uh, sprinting across gaps, and uh, also sprinting across these weird things that just don't look like they're doable. So so, yeah, basically by using non-standard block heights, mainly the fence, to be honest, because I think, you know, the fence is the coolest one that just seems least logical, uh, you can do some cool stuff. So, again, another example is here. This doesn't look like it's a makeable staircase, right? But, yeah, if you just walk along it like this, boom, you can actually do it, and it's just fine. So, yeah, basically using uh, stuff like this can make for some really bizarre staircases, and in case bizarre is the number one thing you're going for in your builds, then I've got you covered with this first idea here. So, in case uh, bizarre isn't the number one adjective you're going for, maybe, you know, actually good looking or something is, uh, because this second staircase is one that I absolutely fell in love with the first time I saw it, and I think I mentioned, I, I went on for it for, for a very long time in my Let's Play episode, but here's a little bit more ranting about why I love this uh, staircase right here. So, as you can see, it's a spiral staircase, uh, a spiral staircase. Spiral staircases are pretty cool if you ask me anyway, because, I don't know, just going in a circle seems cooler than just going on the up-down normal thing that people do, but also the fact that this uh, spiral staircase uses the way that, you know, um, upside-down stairs work to make this really cool kind of snaking effect where it looks like it's just a, you know, like a, a snake of wood going around the thing, and, uh, yeah, saying a wood snake going around a pillar does sound really weird, but, you know, on the plus side, it actually do it is actually is really easy to do, and it does look really cool. So yeah, here's how you actually do it. It's a three-step process. You just need to uh, actually do, like, three bits of stairs, uh, one going up on the first bit, then two going upside down, following it the next way around. And then, obviously, you can repeat this, so if it goes on the other sides, we can have one just like that, and then upside down, we got one there, upside down, we got one there, and then so on and so forth, and eventually, you end up with this really cool snaking effect, so I'm just going to do a few more of these so you can kind of see it form, and, it, uh, and again, because it's just a simple process, you can make this really cool effect, and I think that's pretty cool personally. So can we place that? No, we place it upside down. But yeah, <laughs> you see the basic idea? Um and it's really easy to do because you've got the staircase going as you do it, and I really, really like this staircase here. So yeah, if you love a really nice looking staircase that has wooden snakes, again, I'm not sure if that is, uh, th th those sound a little bit weird, but yeah, if you if you want to have those, then this is something you can do with or without the pillar, and with any type of wood. Like, you can see with dark oak wood, looks pretty cool. With, um, you know, birch wood, looks pretty cool. You can even use cobblestone if you want to. Whatever you want to use, you can do some cool stuff with that, and I just really, really love this staircase. So, to move on from my love affair with this staircase, we'll move on to one that's entirely different, in case good looking isn't your first descriptor you want in your staircase, then maybe the nature staircase is one you might like. Because this is one that, again, it kind of gets the weird factor going, but also it can just blend in with a build if you need to make it greenery based. Because, you know, having uh, having carpet on top of sugarcane can serve two really cool purposes. First of all, obviously, if you have the carpet on top of there, then you can tread on top of it like this. But second of all, it actually stops the sugarcane from growing, which, again, is going to be pretty handy if you have a staircase, because you don't want your staircase to grow. So, yeah, just like this, um, you make your own man made sugarcane. In case you're curious, if you, like, let's just show you right here. Uh, basically, you can just, uh, you know, stack it up yourself like so. And it's a pretty cool thing like that. So yeah, uh, want to make a staircase out of sugarcane, all you have to do is place carpets on the top, and you can do a very non-standard, very bizarre little thing. Uh, you can mix up the colours, and you can do all sorts of things like that. So, uh, just along the lines of nature staircases anyway, since that's kind of what we're talking about, uh, let's show you another example right here, because as you can see, you can put it on top of any plant, any tree, stop them from going to, but you can also put it on top of water. You might have noticed how there's no water in this sugarcane. It's not just some bizarre glitch, it's because if you um put carpet on the side of carpet, you can put it over water, and again, carpet can be placed in so many cool places, and, and indeed, even on top of carpet itself, and uh, I, I think basically if you want to use carpets to make your staircase a little bit cooler, a little bit uh, more different, also that was bizarre, um, want to uh, make your stuff a little bit cooler, a little bit different, that's something you can do with the carpet. So yeah, that is um, the third staircase right here. Let's move on to the fourth one, shall we? 
So the fourth staircase idea here is another one that I, I think uses a really nice complementary block uh, combination here, which is, uh, in case you're curious, it's polished andesite, I'm like 99% sure, and uh, half uh, half stone slabs, or you know, stone slabs basically. And by using these two block, uh, blocks together, not only do you get a nice effect between the two, but also this shows off another thing that I think is a really important part of any fancy staircase, and that is the split staircase. So you can see this uh, in pretty much any big fancy build, if you wanna make your place look like it's fancy, wealthy, whatever word you wanna use in your Minecraft. But basically, yeah, basically, yeah if you just uh, split your staircase into two, then it works like that. I'm not sure why it makes everything look that much fancier, but I think it's something like, oh yeah, this guy's, uh, you know, doing so well in Minecraft, he has two entrances to his house, he can pick which way to go. And uh, yeah, that's something you can decide to do there. So just a few other pointers that to point out here. One, split sta staircase is pretty cool. I don't know if you can keep on splitting it, like I know if you have four entrances, it might be weird, but if you want to, have like 50 entrances to your staircase, just see how it goes, you know? And second point is that you can also use this to kind of show people something and then make them turn left or right. So I know this is horribly centered and it's actually slightly off, but life isn't symmetrical or something, but yeah, uh, basically you can see there's a little waterfall. I know that's a common one that you can do in the middle. But yeah, you can also have a little garden there if you want to. You can do, you know, all these cool things and just show people the thing and then make them go left and make them go right. And it's a cool thing you can do with this type of staircase that you can't necessarily do with any other type of staircase. So yeah, the split staircase is pretty cool. I also particularly like the combination of uh, andesite with uh, half um, stone slabs. And in case those are your thing, then that's uh, number four right here. So uh, let's move on to the final staircase, which might just inspire you. And this is one that honestly, you know, I, I, I made in like my very early days of Minecraft, but that's really cool and that you might want to start using anyway even though, though it's something we've been able to do for a while because it involves using pistons and your stairs so here you can see this is my kind of crazy place to confuse people and make them not sure where the uh, staircase is basically here you can see yeah if we just press the button the staircase comes out it goes back in and because of the way we've led the wall and we made it out the same block you can kind of make a semi-secret staircase because bear in mind if we just take the lever off here then you know if no one knows there's a lever but I have a lever in here already but yeah if nobody knows that if nobody knows there's a lever then it means that okay you press the secret button then the stuff comes out and that's that because although people can see the pistons they might not necessarily know where to put the uh, the lever because you can make it a secret place I could make it there for instance if I wanted to obviously I haven't but <laughs> you know you can make it anywhere on the wall and that's a cool thing that you can do using uh, the lever to make that especially if you have a free or four-sided room like this where there's lots of holes like oh this could be it this could be it that could be it and if you make it like that then you can kind of make it like a super secret staircase that's also super cool when you do pull it off because again there's something really cool about this uh, and again you could do a button make it even cooler and there's a bunch of different cool uh, solutions as to how you can make the redstone staircase and I quite like that. So yeah, that is five staircases in Minecraft that will hopefully inspire you in some way, whether it's, uh, you know, just making you want to not use the standard blocks and to do something that feels a bit wackier, whether it's something like the spiral staircase going around the block that maybe you saw before and you're like, you know what, now I'm just going to do this, you know, because something, something, so you get likes it. Uh, or maybe it's the nature staircase. Maybe you love the idea of using something so natural to make a staircase, or maybe the split staircase makes you have a fancy house, or even just having the redstone on your staircase. Hopefully one of these five different things did help you in some way. If it does, please do like the video and let me know. Also, I'd really love to know, um, this is something you can send in on Twitter or just wherever you want to send it. Basically, if you do use one of these staircases or, you know, variation thereof, I'd love to see, uh, you know, your builds of it because, again, I'm always uh, interested to see how people kind of use the same things. And yeah, please do, um, you know, send in a thing over Twitter or over whatever you want to send it via um, of what you do build of this if you do do something. So yeah, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the idea of like, oh yeah, here's five different ways to do something that you kind of need to use every day. Because there are some things like, you know, the stairs, like I mentioned, and like, I guess a door stuff that you just need in every single build and making something different might just be that for you. Anyway, let me know with the, the words in the comments. I hear those things are quite good. And besides that, I think I'm going to have to say I'll see you all in the next video. So I right, right, share it if you really liked it and subscribe if you're new around here. But yeah, other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.